Good morning from Hanoi. I look like a drowned rat. It is currently almost 6 a.m. and I've just washed my hair. We arrived yesterday and we are actually checking out of our hotel this morning and we are heading on a very long bus journey to get on a cruise to Halong Bay. So I'll take you with me. Right, we're on our bus or our van even. It's very uh, luxurious in here. They even give you water. Yeah. There's our driver with the first pickup. I'm just gonna vlog now while there's nobody else in the van because we're going to two more hotel pickups and there's eight of us in total that are going to Halong Bay. I think it's about a two and a half hour journey, which is good because I read online that it can take five hours. Um, so I hope that's not the case. I hope they're not just being really optimistic about this. We have um, some snacks with us and uh, water that they filled us with. I'm talking to myself yeah. and you're not responding. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> the two of us. But the seats even say yeah. VIP, it's so yeah. cool. Um, I really love VIP actually. Yeah, so we're going on a two night, three day cruise to Halong Bay, which is really exciting. You can, mo I think most people do a one night cruise, but I wanted to do the two night because you get to go kayaking and there's a few more water sports and things like that. So yeah i will um leave all the details i can't remember who we booked this through but we definitely did it in the uk and it was through a local company not like a uk travel agent because it was a lot cheaper to do it through a vietnamese company and so far they've been really good are you taking a photo no, just stopped off at the services because we're about halfway into our journey and it is insane the amount of food that's available here and it's so clean as well isn't it it's a massive like service station off the motorway Jas and I were just saying that the, uh, the motorways here are so much clearer than our ones oh. thank you Different boat, man. Different, Different boat. boat. <laughs> <laughs> Along's on a good boat. Yes, I'm not the same boat. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yes. So this is a room key. We have the two key inside. Thank you. Yes. And the room key, 109. Thank you. Oh, okay. So we've just walked into what looks like a very fancy shop, but you check in for your boat here, and they give you like a luggage tag, a room key, and there's a lobby to sit in because you basically have about an hour to chill before you board for your flight. It's very nice in here, actually. Mm. We made some friends on the bus. Um, it's really funny because there's another couple from the UK and a family from the Philippines, and we've just been reminiscing about our trip this time last year. Um, but we're just sat in the lounge area now and um, it's so nice in here like I wasn't really expecting this you know when you just don't have any expectations there's a little bar area so I'm gonna see if they've got a coffee or something um, and we've got about an hour maybe just under till we um, leave for our cruise which is so exciting so this is the uh, lounge area and outside I think there's like motels and stuff so people probably live nearby I think this might even be a hotel actually, but there's shops selling souvenirs and stuff like that and um, here's the lounge area with the bar where you can buy stuff and just hang out. It's very nice and air conditioned in here but it's not too cold. So actually the journey only took us about two and a half to three hours which wasn't too bad. I think it's because we booked a luxury cruise as opposed to one of the cheaper ones which basically stops to pick everyone up everywhere you go. So I think that was a good shout. Food is quite expensive here, like for Vietnam, not for us obviously, but um, I'm really glad I had that coffee this morning even though it was really sweet and quite horrible because I don't think I'm gonna get a coffee anywhere here. I'm really surprised because soy milk is really big in Asia, but this is the first place I've been to where all, like just went to quite a few coffee shops this morning I went to a few when we landed and like nobody does anything but normal milk um, and I just don't like that coffee I can't do it um, I've just got a coke light that's the only way I'm going to get caffeine on this trip <laughs> here's our ride to the boat this is exciting <laughs> we're on our way to the boat very exciting Paradise Elegance. Oh, it looks so nice. I was born to live near or in water. Sea air is very This is so. We're just going up the 
to the third floor for a safety briefing first. Try not to trip up the stairs. Hello. Hello. Welcome in this room. Maybe I room number. Oh, 109, I think. Okay. Thank you. So we've just had a safety briefing and this is the restaurant. We need to go check out our rooms and then come back here for lunch. So we're trying to find our room. We are room 109. I think I see my suitcase parked outside. We only bought one bag with us, we left the other one at the hotel. Can we? No, you have to remove it. Thanks. Wow, oh my god. Sorry. Whoa. Oh my god. For a cabin room, it's actually quite This big. is so nice, the bed is huge. Right. Oh, oh we've got a little balcony, it's lovely. Whoa. Where's the bathroom? Please tell me I'm not showing a bathroom so cool. with somebody. We can see the world. I'm not sleeping on this ship. I'm just gonna stay awake. Oh, we're moving, we're moving. This is the bathroom, I'm assuming. It smells so nice in here. Oh my God. I've just stepped out onto our balcony. I forgot that we actually booked a room with a balcony. This feels so weird because the boat's moving now, but we have a little table and chairs. Look at this. Bye Hanoi, it's been fun. We'll see you in a couple of days. We are headed, oh my God, I feel really dizzy. We are headed this way. I have actually come prepared. I've got um, travel sickness or motion sickness tablets with me, but I'm really hoping that I don't have to take them. I get serious vertigo on little boats. I have been on a cruise before and I think I was all right. Um, but I don't know, I don't know, but I've got them with me just in case. So hopefully I'm fine. So far so good, we've just taken off. We've got lunch in about half an hour. Oh, there's a man on his balcony. But I wanna go and explore. Oh, I just, honestly, I just feel like I was made to live on or near water. I think I was like a mermaid in a past life. Do you think, Jas? He can't hear me. I feel like I was a mermaid in a, oh my God, it's dark. Do you know how nice it is just to sit out there? Yeah. If this was my house and that was like my balcony, oh, yeah. he's unpacking already. <laughs> I'm just like, the view's amazing. I would just sit out there forever. I haven't even taken my bag off. Um, I'm so excited to be here. I just wanna walk around the boat and oh, it's amazing. Honestly, right guys, this is the life. When I'm old and retired, I'm gonna spend my life cruising or just buying a boat. Ooh, maybe I should make enough money to buy a boat. I know cruises um, often get the rep as like being for old people and I mean I don't necessarily agree. I've been on really short cruises, this is like a two night one and I've been on a two or three night one before from Miami to the Bahamas. That also might be on my channel from so many years ago but I just think it's really fascinating the sort of people that you meet. So the people that were on our bus here um, are from the Philippines and San Francisco they're really interesting. We met a British couple who used to live in Malaysia. They um, were talking to us about their travels. I just love talking to people that are like very well traveled and it's really interesting like just learning stuff about other countries and just people's experiences of places and things like that. Um, I can tell that this is gonna be a great couple of days already. The sun is blind me to locate my sunglasses. Oh, they're here. They've just bought me a plate, so there is a buffet, but none of it's vegetarian. So this is German potato salad, a mixed salad, some sushi, some Vietnamese spring rolls, some soy sauce. And I'd already started like getting my own plate. <laughs> Don't know what this is, just a bit of a sad little salad with no dressing. <laughs> and I picked up some sushi ginger for myself and jazz. I've got some all sorts waiting. Pak choy, chicken. Uh, oh, wow. Tempura. Oh, okay. Oh. Sorry. Thank you. What's that, sorry? Corn soup. Okay. Oh, corn soup, okay. Oh, wow. And vegetable meal for you. Brilliant, thank you so much. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> We've got so much food. It's you got better trick. Well, I kind of do, wow. That's a lot of food, yeah. I've just come out to look at the sun deck. There's a jacuzzi up here, which doesn't look like you can use it right now. There's a bar. Just 
got changed into my swimwear after lunch. We've got about 15 minutes till we get off the boat at our first stop called Tivet Island. That could be wrong. <laughs> we can either choose to go swimming for an hour or hike up a mountain. <laughs> Me and water, we're best friends. I'm definitely going swimming. Don't know what Jas is doing, but I'm so excited. This is the first time on this trip I've been on swimwear, in swimwear, and I could not be happier. It is baking hot here. Like, it was not hot in Hanoi, it was humid, but it's like 26 degrees, it's completely bearable, totally fine, and it was raining yesterday, but here, it is roasting, so I'm so happy to basically be half naked right now. Bye, bye. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Our boat. This is our ship that we just got off of. We just got off the little boat and we're heading basically just following the crowd to the beach. We didn't realise that you might be able to buy stuff here, like drinks, and we didn't bring any money, but it's all good. I don't know how much I actually vlogged, but I was just living my best life for about an hour on the beach and it was incredible. We are at Titok Island. Um, yeah, it's stunning. We could have hiked to the top to get the view of Halong Bay, which is basically the view you see in all the postcards of Vietnam, but it was just too hot to hike when we arrived. It was like sweltering. And we were like, no, we're jumping in the sea instead. It's on a very scary bamboo boat. It's a rocky boat. boat. It like, almost toppled over. Um, there was even this called kayaking, and I feel like a kayak is safer because you've got control over it, but everyone sat on one side and the boat nearly toppled over. <laughs> Hotel and cruise. <laughs> Did you have a good time? I have to say it was a little bit of a long activity. I'm glad we didn't pay to hire a kayak, but I'll tell you more about that later because we're we'll getting on the boat. <laughs> Really, a bit. It's a peaceful boat ride, basically. It was peaceful, but it was so short-lived and totally not <laughs> worth it. Like if you've been to the Philippines, that was amazing, really stunning. This was really underwhelming. Like yeah, it was beautiful, but it wasn't like outstanding. I could have quite happily sat that one out, just sat on the sun deck in the jacuzzi, which would have been really nice. It was just a bit. <laughs> you said you had the key. Okay, correct, correct, correct. It was like they were just trying to kill a bit of time by just sending <laughs> us somewhere while they clean the ship, you know. <laughs> they said it was meant to be an hour long. It was literally about 20 minutes by the time we left and got back. Like we actually, yeah, it's been 40 minutes since we left the ship and it's about a 10 minute drive there well, and back. more time get, like chilling out getting ready now. Yes, yeah, so now we've got an hour. Yeah, it's been quite rushed. Um, it's, I'm not complaining. We've now got an hour to basically shower and get ready. There's a Vietnamese cooking class going on on the sun deck, which I really, really want to do. And they've also got happy hour between 5.30 and some other time. It's almost 4.30 now, so yeah really exciting it's not um a buffet for dinner it's like a set menu and you have to choose your options and tell them what time you're dining so we've said 7:30. so we've got about three hours to get hungry again basically drink and learn how to make vietnamese spring rolls which is exciting probably quite easy <laughs> just cruising along slowly how funny the sun is hitting this golden sun cruise <laughs> and there we are there's a lady that comes by on a bamboo boat trying to sell you stuff and we were warned not to buy anything but we've just docked here for the night and we're going upstairs onto the sun deck to hopefully see the sunset but we might have actually just missed it oh there's an announcement in the room just you in it here's my ootd i'm wearing a orange play suit from sainsbury's which isn't the nicest but i like the color so 
that's what I'm going with tonight. So we're about to do a Vietnamese uh, cooking class. It's a demonstration first. Wet power. Made this one. On the wet power. Press it now. Get the water from the bottom. Up to up. And now we're using the lemongrass. No lemongrass, you're not going to put inside here. It's an orange shima. Make it pretty. It's like a brush. And why? No reason because we're gonna make this sulfur. Oh, my face is really shiny. Um, yeah, we sat through the oh, nice glow. We sat through the uh, cooking class for all of about 10 minutes. It was really like quick, obviously. And now it's happy hour, so we've got two cocktails. Even though I'm not really a cocktail fan, I mine is a gin cocktail. Jazz's, of course, is a whiskey cocktail because he wouldn't be Jazz if he didn't like a bit of whiskey. I look really scary here. The chef made spring rolls and Jas got to try one, which looks really nice. Oh, I wish they made veggie ones. It's so annoying. I could do with a little stack. <laughs> this is where we're docked for the night though. It's so nice and peaceful. I mean, apart from this light. Ignore this light, right? It's, now you can't see anything. But trust me, it's really nice and peaceful. I um, shouldn't, probably shouldn't be vlogging right now. I look really scary because I'm lit from like below. Anyway, I shouldn't be vlogging right now because I'm very, very drunk. Um, but we have dinner reservations in like approximately two minutes. I need to pee. Two minutes ago? Oh, really? I think so, yes. Okay. You're on your third no, we've, no, we've got one minute. We better go. But, um, <laughs> but I forgot what I was going to say. We had um, three cocktails at happy hour. So yeah, quite nice. They're literally like six pounds a cocktail and they're like really well made. They're not like, um, they're like watered happy, down. Yeah. yeah, they're not watered down or anything. It's really good. Anyway, I better go. Jas, am I too drunk to be in a fancy dinner setting? 100%. You were like drunk about two cocktails ago. Right? <laughs> I was and I had three. Oh my god, what's happening to my face? I don't feel like I should <laughs> Yeah, if, if you're shaky, it's because of you. If you can't not shake it right now. The boat shakes when you get up and yeah, down the boat. But basically, the, the lady waitress keeps like saying stuff. I, I don't, I, she's talking about monkeys. She's talking about monkeys. Yeah, she's calling you monkeys. I have no idea what is happening. Also, yeah, I've got one in front of you, which is you. Anyway, we've got a fancy dinner. We've got a. Um, it's a dinner roll. When do you ever get a dinner roll? It's so fancy and like European, British, I don't know. I have no idea what's going on, but I've just got a glass, a bottle of water. Yeah. <laughs> He's got wine. <laughs> you need to the bottle of wine for myself. This is just for the content, right? Because I don't know, but this is like the main menu if you're not vegetarian. I have a special menu and you get to choose like an appetizer or a soup, a main and dessert or something. So for starters or appetizers I have a banana blossom salad which looks very fancy and a salmon salad for jazz. <laughs> Sweet corn soup. For me, I had this at lunch and it was delicious. And seafood soup for Jazz. So Jazz got steak and I got um, poached broccoli and a mushroom sauce. But I've just asked for some rice or noodles with this because I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to eat this. It's a bit weird, but anyway. But it's good, it smells good. I'm getting quite full actually. So I also have a vegetable curry. Rice, um, she normally has rice, yeah. I'm not really sure how I've ended up with a vegetable curry and rice as well as this mushroom and broccoli sauce. But um, yeah, I've got a lot of food here. Trust you're gonna have to share because yours looks quite small in comparison. Is it good? It's really good though. Jas <laughs> got a trio of dessert, chocolate cake, creme brulee and vanilla, vanilla ice cream. I'm still drunk. And I got a fruit and ice cream. I'm very happy about this. Good morning. It is 7.30 in the morning and we're definitely on the move. We haven't moved yet, but we're right near the front of the boat and we can definitely hear the engine starting at six. Um, we were warned that anyone near the front of the boat would hear that. But, um, yeah, it's beautiful out here. It is very humid already, which is why my camera is steaming up just a little bit. A little bit, it's very steamy actually. I couldn't tell if it was my camera or not. We're heading upstairs for breakfast first. We were gonna make it to, we were gonna try and make it to Tai Chi at 6 a.m. But um, 
yeah that didn't exactly happen we did wake up oh hold on that's better we did actually wake up at 5 30 in the morning and then we just thought sod it we're staying in bed that's no one cares about tai chi it's happening tomorrow morning anyway so that's the plan i'm not hungover although i was very very drunk last night dinner was epic i so far i don't want to jinx it but so far every meal has been really good yeah. um this whole trip so that's a good sign i think so we're just walking to breakfast this is the corridor and we're actually on the ground floor this is the view from the deck it is stunning of course we couldn't see this last night because it was dark but they do squid fishing from here in the evenings just wanted to give it a go yesterday but we were just so tired we ended up crashing so maybe tonight i'm obviously not giving it a go because gross but anyway Okay, forgot to vlog breakfast. This is what I've just helped myself to. Cucumber, tomato, cheese, croissants and some fruit and some crackers. I asked for this to be made because they've got some beef and vegetable noodle stir fry. But they accidentally bought me fur, which I will try, but now this is just a lot of food. <laughs> we're on a different boat now. It was a three minute journey. And we're about to have a safety briefing. So we've been moved to a different boat for a few hours while they clean our ship um, but we're doing a few excursions and this is the view of Halong Bay, stunning. Oh I missed it, this guy was literally asleep and he was driving the boat, <laughs> it's so funny. We've just got off the boat, oh my god this could be scary. Oh that's cool this is. Oh scary. Jess has made a new friend, a stray dog. I'm staying well away. Are you insane. This is the quartz. Quartz? Quartz. Yeah. Wow. Quartz? We made from three substances. Silica, limestone, and water. The silica sparkle, you see? Of sorts. Got a sea cucumber soup, and this is what it looks like. Oh my god, that's it. That's it. It's so pretty, you're supposed to look. Yeah, enjoy your lunch. Oh my gosh, now I've seen it. I've got corn soup. <laughs> I have veg tempura and a salad without the jellyfish. Where's the jellyfish? Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, oh, thank you. <laughs> this is a lot of food. I've got some broth, I've got the dipping sauce, I've got vegetables, salad, this like tofu, meatball, curry, something else. Food just keeps on coming. It's insane. <laughs> How's your food, Jess? Oh, amazing. Yeah. <laughs> insane. We're just kayaking along. I don't know how much footage I have because it is burning hot. I can't see my phone screen but I think people actually live here and they have like hammocks that everyone's just chilling on outside which looks like their version of a sofa. Hi. All their laundry. Hello! Okay. <laughs> Shin Chow. Oh look at those ladies just chilling in a hammock. I don't know if you can see me. I don't know if you can see me and Jess, but we are kayaking away. Say hi. 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 Oh. There you are. So do you want to use? Oh, sorry. There we are. These are our um, waitresses and waiter. Should be looking after us. Uh, hotel, not a hotel. The cruise. <laughs> That's so nice, the uh, cruise ship staff basically um, come out on a kayak as well to photograph guests. <laughs> Floating along on a kayak, I'm doing absolutely nothing while Jas paddles away. Can you see him? What's that? Hey. Is that a helicopter? No, it's a motorboat. That's probably the bamboo Motorbike? Boat. Oh, motorboat. Anyway.
We've just been to this floating fishing village and we were kayaking here and there's a museum this side. There's also a nurse because there's about 60 people that currently live here um, and this used to be a primary school just here but they had a storm recently so the, su the school has sunk to the bottom of the sea. They need to rebuild it so everyone's kids go to a boarding school on the mainland and they spend the week there and then they come home for the weekends live um, in these houses have three jobs. They do squid fishing at night, tourism, so they take tourist boats out and they do fish farming. Um, most of the time they just on their hammock in the water. We've been sat here having more cocktails. Um, I've had like my second one. I'm not drunk yet, I don't think. So we're heading off to dinner in a little dinner. This is the first course. No idea what it is, but it's vegetarian and it has tofu. I've had um, sweet corn soup three times in a row now for lunch and dinner. So I chose the potato soup, which is very orange for a potato. Oh, maybe a sweet potato soup. Um, yeah, for my appetizer. And what did you get? A mushroom soup? Um, yeah, mine's a uh, mushroom. Black, black mushroom soup with halong seafood. I feel like I haven't vlogged like all afternoon and evening, but um, it's been a really like full on day. We got back from our like uh, day out on a different boat. We headed straight to the jacuzzi upstairs. We didn't end up going back to the beach. It was just so nice chilling on the sun deck with um, these two Italian friends that we made. They were in the jacuzzi with us at the same time. Then we came back, got changed, had a shower, had loads of cocktails at happy hour. We've just had dinner and now it's almost like 9.30 p.m. and Jas is gonna see if he can go squid fishing. I'm just gonna go and watch. <laughs> to observe these are our two new friends oh, Luigi yeah. and Ricardo yeah. they've been squid fishing for a while no luck, <laughs> no luck. No no luck. luck. I think it's a big one. is it your first time <laughs> it's a big one <laughs> aren't all squid about the same size <laughs> I think you meant to put some on it was like bait do you know how you put bait on it too yeah 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 I thought, I thought that's oh my god like they say to us no not Oh, okay. I'll let you know. I'll get on. <laughs> yeah, <he'll try. laughs> he'll try and catch yeah, three yeah, squids. Yeah, try. No, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he'll try and get three. One for all of you for <laughs> breakfast. Yeah. Come on, <laughs> cool. Enjoy your evening, guys. Cool. We might still be here at 6 a.m. <laughs> of the chances, I was just talking about our two Italian friends, and we stepped outside to the front of the boat, and here they are. It's really funny because we keep ending up in the same places at the same time, like the jacuzzi or we sat on the same table for lunch and then we discovered literally just before we went for dinner that they're in the room opposite us. We were, all of us were complaining about the noise at 6am because we're right near the front of the boat and the boat was like anchoring or something and we we're like we're not stalking you we promise <laughs> but they're really cool. I love chatting to people when we're traveling and I especially in Southeast Asia I feel like I don't know, just the people you meet, regardless of what country they're from or wherever in the world they're from, in Southeast Asia, everyone just seems like so well-traveled. It's like, if you come here, you're just automatically really well-traveled. One of those guys said he's been to 63 countries. I was like, wow. And the other one has been to 33, I think, which is still like insane. Um, but then they did say that they're both flight attendants for Ryanair and EasyJet, which kind of took the gloss off it a little bit, you know, but they obviously didn't fly here via either of those budget airlines because we're in Vietnam and they live in London. Um, but yeah, I just, we've just been chatting to so many like interesting people. And I love that about Southeast Asia. Like you can just wear like really shitty clothes, just befriend all the randoms you want and everyone's just really well traveled and really well cultured. And it's just, really great vibe you know morning it's our last morning on the cruise let me show you the view so here's a view from our balcony it's absolutely stunning i did take some photos from the top deck at about 6 30 a.m but i forgot to take my vlog camera upstairs so here we go
But I made it up to the sun deck. I'm just doing a little bit of work because there hopefully should be Wi-Fi here. But this is the view. How stunning is this? The boat does move a little bit. Um, it's not completely anchored to one spot. So sometimes we do get a different view. It also depends on the clouds and the sun. But this is the jacuzzi we were in last night. And oh, it is heavenly. <laughs> It is so, so nice. Um, I've absolutely loved this cruise. It's been totally incredible. There's probably a lot of backlight here so you can't actually see. But basically, this is what our ship looks like. It's the Paradise Elegance Cruise. They have two boats um, that essentially do the same thing. They just get overbooked, which is why they have two. And um, it definitely is the nicest looking boat here. I'm actually going to leave this video here because I feel like it's been quite long already. Um, we're disembarking in a few hours. So we have um, one activity, visiting a cave followed by breakfast and then checking out of our room hanging out until the boat arrives back at the port place where we disembark and then we've got an hour and a half to kill there before we get picked up and then driven two and a half three hours back to Hanoi so it's just quite a long travel day I will pick up the camera again when we um, arrive in Hanoi and start a new vlog and actually spend two days there doing fun stuff. But this cruise has been absolutely incredible. What It exceeded our expectations way more than we thought it would. I think we booked it so long ago that we'd kind of forgotten what to expect. And so when you have no expectations, you can't be disappointed. It's been really, really great. I'm already planning lots of blog content, which if I don't feel travel sick on the way back, then I will start writing up on my phone because I have lots to say. This trip is going to be epic, I think. I don't want to jinx it. Um, but for the rest of the trip, we don't really have any like solid plans like this. We're just wandering around with a long list of things we want to see and do and tick off as many sites as possible. So I'm going to leave this video here, but thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.